Yum yum. Okay, welcome to Pixel Fondue. My name is Chris. I am going to show you a quick video on making a custom UI in ZBrush. It's very basic. We're just going to take a few things and that's all. It should only take a few minutes with the actual lesson. But I'm going to explain something first. I think there's some good reasons why you should start with the ZBrush interface as it is. Uh, the first reason is getting support. If you have any problems, getting support will help you if you are on the same page, aka if you both have the same map, if you both have the same interface, then it will be a little bit easier to get help if you need it. All right. Second would be following tutorials. If you need to follow tutorials, sometimes it helps, again, being on the same page, the same look, the buttons are in the same places, palettes are in similar places, and this will help you move along quicker. And third, I think trusting the developers is a good thing at first. There's usually good reasons. There are usually good reasons for this. And go ahead and trust them at first, right? Later on, you can start changing things in uh, as you get more skills and more confidence with what you're doing and what you're looking at and what you want to do. Then you can start jumping into this customization process. All right. Quickly, this is the default interface. I'm going to show you my default interface that I use all the time. Uh, let me see. I have to find it over here first. I'm going to take this preferences and dock it over here into this palette area or the, actually the trays. These are trays. The palettes are what populate the trays. Right Here's the preferences. If I go to this configure file, let me see. Let's see where is it. Restore standard UI. That's a good one. But here it is. Custom UI. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. This is usually what I'm looking at when I'm playing in ZBrush or I'm doing anything I need to do. This is usually always open. I've usually got the tool and the subtools open. I need to see those. I like to be able to see these. Uh, I've usually got these things open. If you look carefully, I've got the preferences down here if I need to tinker with anything. And at this stage, for instance, in this model now, most of my big forms are all taken care of. So I usually will have my alpha palette open up over here. Uh, if I'm doing my basic forms and just getting large area sculpting done, I usually have the brushes open so I can just jump in here. Lots of good things over here. Uh, let's see, sometimes I'll have this shut down if I'm just into the sculpting mode and I don't want to see a bunch of things. I have these on this side and I have a lot of the brushes I go to on this side almost always. Sometimes I'll have this button up here turned off just to give me some uh, sort of north-south or top to bottom interface space right it's not much but it adds up but usually I've got this one at at the least I've got this up but I often will just go here so I decide I usually have these things open uh, it streamlines things for specific workflows you're able to grab buttons and palettes that you need that you use a lot again ZBrush is often used in many many different industries in this world all kinds of people are using this for doing all kinds of things so you're going to need to streamline it for your own needs eventually uh, I think some people don't some people really stick with that default UI and they're happy with it right I like to tinker with the stuff because I think it's also kind of fun right okay now then part three I think I'm going to get started and I'm going to show you a little bit of customizing the interface. What I'm going to do, go into my preferences again. I'll show you where it's at. Right here. It would be at the top, preferences, configure. I'm going to go back to restore standard UI. It's very simple to do this. If you're ever tinkering around and things get broken or you don't like it and you want to go back to the beginning or you need to get support or you need to follow a tutorial, this is where you can do that. If you watch closely, here we go. We're back in business. right? standard UI everything's ready to go looks pretty nice it's alright I can get a lot of things done with this most people do All right now then the quick thing you need to do if you want to start the customization process is probably come over here and open this side up 
grab the preferences and drag it over here to this tray you could put it over here but I'm gonna put it over here just because these are the default positions for the tools right so what I want to do first uh, let's see come over here click this now quick side note when you're over here you'll get some simple little hovered tool tips right you hover on it you get some tool tips showing up right not too bad pretty easy but what I want you to do is in ZBrush if you are over anything or at least almost anything and you hit the control button you'll get access to a brief description almost always sometimes a lengthy one right I'm just hitting the control button right there so now I'm getting a little description about enable customize look there quick look there closely where it says control alt All right I'll let you read that on your own but when you're customizing the interface the control alt button is the combination you will need to remember and uh, let's get started with this a little bit okay so I'm going to want to change a few things around right so what I want to do is this button here enable customize I want to click that notice the interface changes it's letting us see spots that let us play with it you don't customize these trays on the side you can populate you can sorry you can populate them with palettes but you can't really customize these the way we're going to customize this main rectangle area in your interface. The areas right there. They're all here, the top, bottom, and this side right here. So I start off with this. Now the first thing I like to do when I first start this off is, as usual, I see that control alt. What I'm gonna do is go control alt. I'm gonna drag this and I'm gonna put it right there. This gives me quick access to that. I click that off and my interface has now been changed. The available positions have dropped off. Nothing populates them, so they disappear. So I hit that again. Watch. I can start dropping things wherever I got space. Uh, let's see. That's something else I want to do. I like to have that. And let's say this one right here. You see the control shift I? It's not hard to hit as a keyboard shortcut. It, many of us are using styluses when we're using ZBrush, so I like to just put that right over here with that. Easy to hit with a stylus. You go boom, and you're done. You can store that. Now, my master configuration file has been saved successfully and will be restored every time you start ZBrush. Right? Not too bad. I turn that off. I'm back to bi back in business of painting and sculpting. Now, let's go back to this. Uh, let's see. I want to be able to a uh, quick uh, simple one uh, people like to do a lot is set up a brush they want to use a certain brush somewhere and there you hit that brush button you see all of this right here lots and lots of things you can do with ZBrush brushes and right, here's some of the basic ones right up across the top what I'll do is I want to have a certain brush somewhere uh, let's see I'll sh I'm gonna shut that down real well, I'll open it why not uh, let's go to the brush palette. Here's the brush palette. I'm going to drag this over to here. See these? Uh, clay brush. Those are very popular brushes. What I'm going to do, I'm still in customize mode, right? Still in customize. I'm going to come over here, control and alt. I'm going to drag that button over here. Now I've always got that button. If I need that button, I can hit it right there. Sometimes, let me see, let's see. Uh, a smooth brush, smooth brush. Sometimes, let's say we want a smooth brush over here. Real simple. Turn it off, now I've got them up here. I could have put those, let's see, go back into customization. I could put those down here. Maybe down here on the bottom. You got two spots here. Uh, I'm gonna put those there, and I'm gonna put this one, I don't know, right there. To start a second line right one of them you can close down one of them you can't uh, let's see I could turn that off I'll shut that down enable customize and I'm going to store my config oh it tells me yes 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 happy happy now I've got my two brushes down here I've got my enable customize brush and store config 
or not a brush, but my uh, button up here. And if I ever need to, I can go turn on and off. Now, let's say I don't want something here. What do I do with it? How do I delete it? Well, easy. You just, in the customization mode, control alt, grab that clay button, and drop it into a blank space in a viewport. And it's gone. Here, I can get rid of that one. Okay, See, now, they're, now they're gone. Uh, if I like it, store it. Uh, I'm going to change it around again. Let me see, what do I want? Let's go get a different brush. I'm going to put uh, this brush here. I'm going to put this brush here. Uh, let's say I like to have my duplicate sub tool button somewhere out alt or control alt and drag that up there I like to have that handy dandy uh, let's see I like it store it really it's pretty easy and again like I mentioned already if this is something you don't like you say ah that doesn't really work that well I don't like it I want to change it you can just go back into here restore standard UI and there we go we're back to the beginning no harm done. Okay. Okay. Again, here's the standard uh, ZBrush interface. I want to change things around a little bit, so I'll go back to my. Okay. Let's see. Where is it? Restore custom UI. Now I'm back to the things I normally use. Uh, quick little side note: a lot of times you can turn that off. You can close these down if you're not needing it. You're doing some basic sculpting. Sometimes you don't need all that stuff. And if I hit the tab button. It all dis those sidebars here will disappear. A nice little presentation mode if you ask me. I rarely use it, but it does look pretty. Okay, well, again, welcome to Pixel Fondue. My name is Chris, and uh, I'll be back for episode two sometime in the future. Uh, keep your eye open for things happening here. I will see you later. Goodbye. Yum, yum.